fight. Touch them up. Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. Speed comes in different forms. In his case tonight, early on, expect to see it offensively. This is a fighter that can get after you like a viper. Yeah, he can, but he's going to need those feet to go along with it. Nelson, dazed after that punch. Stunned, but all of a sudden now, surviving. Unable to make an impact there by Nelson. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Halfway through round number one. Nice block by Nelson. One of the fastest punches in the game. You see how he just turns over that hook? Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Little head hunting with the left. Not able to land the uppercut. Now he places that hook right to the body. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Nelson jacked by an uppercut. End of the round there. He was able to stun his opponent. Teddy, when you're training a guy that's coming off a round where he just got to his man, what do you do? Do you say, hey, I saw that, and here's how you did it? How do you approach that? Well, you want to make sure you remind them exactly what you're talking about, how he set it up. Don't think about just a big punch that landed. Remember how you got to that point. You're fighting his fight. You're fighting on the inside with this guy. I want you to use the ring and keep your distance. You gotta watch the Listen, water in the pick his jab. That's right. Pick his jab. Start of a new round. Nelson's making it look like the start of a fresh fighter. Remember, he was stunned in that last round, but Teddy, he looks fully recovered now. Well, it tells me two things. One, he has good genetics. He recovers fast, you know, physically. But it also tells me he had a good camp. He came here in great shape, and he's getting the benefit of that right now. Good, solid right hand by Nelson. Yeah. Huge uppercut by Tyson. Power in both hands for Mike Tyson. We've seen him do it every which way. But if you had a pinpoint one, Teddy, if you were to say, you know, that's the punch you don't want to be anywhere near with Mike Tyson, what is it? It's a time punch. Hey, I can say left hook, right hand. I don't care which one it is. But it's a time punch where he makes a quick move. We know about his hand speed, but he can make quick moves with his body, make you miss, and then bang, time you where you don't see it coming. When you don't see something coming, lights out. There's a straight right hand. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. That's a flush shot, banking away those body shots with the left hand. Defensive skill with the block by Nelson. Keep working the body. And now he digs in with that hook to the body. Joe and Teddy with you here in between rounds, a round in which, boy, he really just dominated his opponent. Teddy, 
He's got to think things could be coming to a sensational ending for him when he gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can't. He's chomping at the bit. He's confident. Good action throughout. We'll see if it keeps up in this round what has been a very even fight. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then go. Oh, no. Actually, I would say a little counterpunching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Scores up top with a left. Not hitting his mark there, going upstairs. Oh, you got this one. Solid left hand to the head. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Comes across with a hook up top. Finish with the hook. A huge right hand from Mike Tyson. Tyson's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. The cannon's left, working well that time. Nice work. Now he ties up there. Nelson's able to avoid that punch. He said he was going to do it from the outside, and now he has. He just got to his man. His opponent had no idea that he was still in range. He thought he was at a safe distance. Now he knows he wasn't. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. You're winning this fight. Just keep doing what you're doing. We got it. And you got this. Just... Nice work here. Good job. All right, listen. You need to create more punches, okay? Slip his punch and throw a straight right down the middle. Round number four underway. Tyson's just dominating in the punch stat categories. When you look at total punches thrown, he's got a big edge early on. Yeah, not a lot of damage going on, but as you just said, one guy working, the other guy's not. Move! How about that left hand? The cannon's doing exactly what he told us he would do. Now, he was stunned earlier in this fight, but he's sticking to that game plan. You know, I like that. You know, I want to see how a guy behaves under pressure. He hasn't panicked, you know. He still believes in his identity, believes in his talents, his abilities, and he's going to stay that way unless the guy convinces him later on. And he just holds on there. Ninety seconds to go in round number four. Come on, kid, go! Do it! Double up your nice work. Nice work. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Nice solid left hand scored by Nelson. He has his target. He lands a straight right. You know, many times we talk about the fact that, hey, at least he's throwing punches. But that's all you can say in this case, because he's not landing many of these. No, they're being blocked or they're missing. 
They're definitely not landing clean, and you have to give credit to the other fighter being that good defensively. Still not moving enough. Move, move. Tyson's corner can do nothing but just applaud him as he returns to the stool. Yet another round where he put forth more and more punishment to his opponent. Yeah, well, they're applauding him, and they should thank his opponent for doing an imitation of a heavy bag. Of this fight, man. Don't get careless out there, right? Just, just keep boxing smart. Okay, We're doing good. We're doing good. Halfway through this fight, as this round gets underway here, been interesting so far. Who knows what we're in store for down the stretch? Good exchange. He fires back. The cannon's able to land a good, solid left hand. Nelson rushed by a huge uppercut. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Big shot. Oh, and here comes the first challenge of his night. Down he goes. Nelson's going to keep taking this test, rising up after being knocked down. He's tight! He's tight! Halfway into round number five here. See, that's the work they want to see with the right hand by Nelson. Nelson's proving to be elusive. Cut right on the mark. Work the body. That was a left hand that came raining in on him. He does not look good right now. Expect him to clinch. Mike Tyson with a big score there. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. You're doing great. And that's the end of round five. Tyson's well conditioned to the realities of this harsh business of boxing. But even though we know what we've seen out of some ringside scorecards through the years, I'd be shocked if everybody doesn't have him ahead in this fight right now. Yeah, but never be shocked in this business because you Listen, never know with these blind you, judges you. sometimes. I hate Assuming to say it that bluntly, but time and time again, you just get shocked when you hear the score at the end of the night. Boom! Kind of punch. Nelson's corner tried to steady him and give him some sound advice with the 60 seconds they had to work with him. But keep in mind, he was knocked down in that last round. Well, the most important thing is his experience. Has this happened to him before? Can he justify it in his mind that he's overcome it before? Also, his corner, did they revive him? Did they do their job during that minute rest? Parries that punch intended for the head. Nice. Nelson's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. And Tyson with a block punch. Get him, get him. Nelson's done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. Halfway through this round, the Cannon's a seasoned pro, and old pros tend to fall into the same patterns. 
nothing has changed with him stylistically since he's been knocked down in this fight. Well, that falls right into that pattern or that cliche where old dogs can't be taught new tricks. Well, right now, he's going to have to come up with a trick or two, maybe, to survive this moment. Nice strike after catching one by Nelson. Let it go. Keep your head moving. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. The cannon's able to land a nice, clean left hand. The countdown, the final moments of this round. Well, as that round comes to an end, it gives us a moment to kind of reflect on this overall fight. Teddy, my thoughts are pretty clear cut. This is the kind of fight that just takes on a personality of its own. This is an all-out war. Yeah, this is kind of like watching a guy who's not on a budget. You know, he's spending with both hands. You know, when he goes home, he's going to have no money in his pockets. And when this fight is over, these guys are going to have nothing left in the gas tank, and it's probably not going to a decision. Carry it away, and you'll... They start up again, back to action here with another round. But who knows how much longer it'll last. This has been a completely one-sided fight. Nice block by Nelson. Back to the bunch. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Ninety seconds to go here in this round. He's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Tyson's left, landing well. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body Move. shot. Move. More punches. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by the cannon. Nelson's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Now just wasting away some time with that clinch. My kid, focus. Ten seconds to go in this round. Mike Tyson's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. Last round. No need to get into a brawl with this guy, okay? That's what he wants. You have to keep your distance. Stay away from him. Keep throwing that jab. Carry it away and you catch him. You got that? It's gonna happen. You're gonna catch him. You're gonna catch him. Plus, it's just a good, solid fight. Yes, he's leading on your scorecard here as we begin round number eight, but there has been some back and forth, some give and take. His opponent has found some kinks in the armor, namely that right hand over the jab. That was a fine block by Nelson. Pace yourself. Little head knocking with that right hand. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Oh, you're doing great. You're doing great. Hey. 
blocks that belt line well. Halfway point of this last round. Just a minute to go in this bout. Scores well to the head with the right hand. way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. And they will bring it home in the last 10 seconds of this final round. Final bell of a close fight. Teddy, sometimes there's close fights that are actually easy to score. This wasn't one of them. No, you could make arguments for both guys almost every round. work tonight was well rewarded. A unanimous decision win. Teddy, you saw it all along. It was easy, and he saw it all along. That's the thing. He saw the punches coming all night long. He was good defensively, and he was good with that left hand. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us, Ringside.